Japan's government is seeking to confirm that sustained nuclear fission has not resumed at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Earlier this week, radioactive xenon was detected at the plant's number two reactor, indicating that nuclear fission had occurred recently. The minister in charge of the nuclear crisis, Koshi Hosono, said on Friday that the presence of xenon was not linked to new developments. He said it was the result of detailed radiation monitoring, uh, of detailed radiation monitoring by the Tokyo Electric Power Company. Halson also said he shares the utility's view that xenon was produced by a phenomenon known as spontaneous fission and not criticality. Ensuring that the situation does not escalate is one of the conditions to bring the reactors to a state of cold shutdown. Of course, that includes the absence of re-criticality. Now, you wouldn't know it from some of the things I've said over the years, but I like people. <laughs> I do. I like people, but I like them in short bursts. The Japanese government has approved a special business plan for Tokyo Electric Power Company. Eleven and a half billion dollars in public funds will help the utility pay compensation for the Fukushima nuclear accident. Economy, Trade and Industry Minister Yukio Edano delivered the news to TEPCO President Toshio Nishizawa and to Kazuhiko Shimokobe. Shimokobe chairs the decision-making board of a government-backed fund set up to help provide compensation for damages. We accept the cost of $11.5 billion because it is necessary. However, it comes from the Japanese people. I would like to insist that you compensate the people who suffered from the Fukushima accident. At the same time, you must downsize TEPCO. TEPCO has been called on to cut spending. The utility needs to trim about $32 billion over 10 years. Cost-saving measures include lowering the interest rates on corporate pensions for retirees from the current maximum 5.5% to less than half that amount. The $11.5 billion is the minimum that would allow TEPCO to pay compensation without going into the red. TEPCO still faces financial challenges from the costs of decontaminating areas affected by the accident to decommissioning the crippled reactors. Managers from TEPCO and from the government fund will draw up a business plan next spring. They'll need to continue to drastically restructure management of the utility. I don't like people for extended periods of time. I'm all right with them for a little while, but once you get up past around minute, minute and a half, I gotta get the fuck out of there. Japan's Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has told a group of 20 leaders that he intends to submit bills to the Diet early next year on raising the consumption tax. Noda officially announced the plan on the first day of the G20 meeting. He said Japan plans to reform its taxation and social security systems, including increasing the consumption tax to 10% in stages by the middle of the decade. He said the necessary bills will be submitted to the ordinary session of the Diet by the end of the current fiscal year, which ends in March. The Prime Minister said a balanced budget is essential for sound economic growth, even without considering the situation in Europe. At the same time, he said exchange rates should reflect economic fundamentals and that it's important that countries strengthen cooperation to prevent excessive currency movements. I got to get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share possibly, I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. The company that operates the Fukushima Daiichi power plant forecasts more financial troubles. Tokyo Electric Power Company is set to post a heavy loss for the business year that runs through March 2012. In figures released on Friday, TEPCO estimated its net loss for fiscal 2011 will total 600 billion yen, about 7.7 .7 billion dollars. The utility blames the cost of ongoing efforts to stabilize the damaged nuclear plant. 
Fuel costs from the use of thermal power plants to shore up electric output add to the losses. TEPCO analysts project energy saving efforts by households and businesses will translate into a 1% decline in annual energy sales. The utility plans to book an extraordinary loss of about $13 billion to compensate those affected by the nuclear disaster. A government-backed fund is expected to contribute about $11.5 billion worth of public funds to assist TEPCO in making the payments. And everyone wants to tell you their stupid bullshit. And a lot of them don't know when to stop talking. You ever run into that guy? Doesn't know when to stop talking, just continues running at the mouth like verbal diarrhea. And Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has told Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan that Japan is ready to cooperate in the construction of a nuclear power plant in Turkey. Thank you for a memorable afternoon. Usually one must go to a bowling alley to meet a woman of your stature. The two leaders met in Cannes, France on Thursday after the first day of talks at the G20 summit. Speaking about the Turkish government's plan to build a nuclear power plant, notice that Japan is willing to share the knowledge it gained from the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes just think funny things. Erdogan expressed his hope that progress can be made in negotiations on the nuclear project. He added his country wants to conclude a free trade agreement with Japan and expand economic ties. Noda also detailed Japan's earthquake relief efforts for Turkey, including its provision of supplies and aid grants. He added that Japan is ready to provide more support if asked. You both seem more relaxed than I expected. Do you have some kind of surprise for the tobacco people? I'm doing my own research. If you're planning to continue with medical testimony, you'll only be inviting further government interference. We must police ourselves. There's your slogan. The medical thing is dead. We understand that. Yes, dead. An apt choice of words, considering the public is convinced that cigarettes are poisonous. If we can't insist that they're not, I believe my most recent surveys have provided a solution. We can still suggest that cigarettes are part of American life, or too good to give up. A most appealing, an assertion of independence. So basically, if you love danger, you'll love smoking. And we could put a skull and crossbones on the label. I love it. Before the war, when I studied with Adler in Vienna, we postulated that what Freud called the death wish is as powerful a drive as those for sexual reproduction and physical sustenance. Freud, you say? What agency is he, is he with? So we're supposed to believe that people are living one way and secretly thinking the exact opposite? That's ridiculous. Let me tell you something, Miss Gus Gutman. Doctor. Dr. Gutman. Psychology might be great at cocktail parties, but it so happens that people were buying cigarettes before Freud was born. The issue here isn't why should people smoke, it's why should people smoke Lucky Strike. Suggesting that our customers have a, uh, a what, what did you call it, a death wish? I just don't see that on a billboard. So what if Reader's Digest says they're dangerous? They also said Bambi was the book of the century. There's no proof. There's conclusive proof that none of these low tar, low nicotine or filtration systems have any effect on the incidences of lung cancer. Just give me the damn report. I think you'll find it very convincing. Oh, I'm sure I will. You're the one who found all of our medical testimonials in the first place. It's true, Mr. Draper, but I... Has anyone else seen this? Of course not. It's your account. Good. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm sorry, I just find your whole approach perverse. Good luck at the meeting. I'm sure it will be a quick one.